They look like an illness, Jennifer. I agree. Jennifer knows it wasn't always like this. Before her sisters bought it, Foster's was actually owned by her husband's family for 115 years. Is this as good as when your husband was running it? No. He used to go on the market five days a week, and they only go three. Like, Paul would go for, say, 3.30. 3.30 in the morning? Yeah. And if 3.30 they don't... in the morning, well, and what time are they going now? Probably 6, well... And have you said to them you should go at 3.30? Well, yeah. And what do they say? They said there's no need to go that early. No wonder Jen seems deflated. Her sisters are throwing 115 years of tradition just down the drain. It just makes me... It makes me sad. I'm a little bit angry. I'll have to meet these girls. I want to know why they bought this and what they're doing with it. <laughs> what are they doing with this? The sisters arrive mid-afternoon. Pleased to meet you. You too. I'm Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Anne. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And you. Wow. Your kingdom. I know. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're tired, aren't we? We've taken over an old shop, basically, mm. haven't we? What do you think? Yeah. And now we need you to come in, and, don't we? We need your expertise, Mary. But why did you buy it? Did you? What was your business plan when you did the negotiation? To be you... honest, I didn't have a business plan. We <laughs> thought we could do anything, yeah. me and her. We can do this, and especially with our gens up, we could do it. Yeah. Thing is, it takes more than a. Hey, we can do anything, a. Hey, we've got the bluster. But... It's got to take focus. It's got to take vision. Yeah. You've got to have a business plan, and you've got to follow it. If you were a customer coming in here. It just, let me just walk you through. Just, just, would you look at this and think, fantastic, this is great, this looks great? Well, yeah, I do like it. Honestly, yeah. honestly, three packs of beetroot, half empty, crack at the back. That's the reason we got in touch with you and you were going to come in and you... Because and we've seen we've seen the stuff you've done before and we were hoping you were going to do Eleanor. It's not down to me, it's you, do you know, know what I mean? I know, it's not we, down to me. I know, but you're giving us a tongue lashing now, Mary. You really are. Am I? Yes, you are. Do you know what? I could come in and say, lovely, and walk out. We knew. It ain't good enough. We haven't got the know-how. We thought we were going to come to this and learn as we went along. We've learnt a little bit, but we've not learnt enough. How do we go about being this businesswoman that's going to make this thing turn around? Well, I've got to go away and work this one out. But I'll tell you this, it's not going to be just down to me. So don't think I'm coming in with a wand or a stick of celery, cos I'm not. That is just, that is bonkers. They think just a bit of kind of ballsy, yeah, we can do attitude makes a business. And just they're in for a big shock, a big shock, because that is just slowly, slowly dying on its feet. And they think, I'm going to just come in and go, the future. But the wake-up call hasn't gone down well. I feel whipped. I feel like, you know, what I'm doing, everything I'm doing is bloody well wrong. Debs is not the only one feeling deflated. I was really looking forward to the challenge of reinventing a fruit and veg shop, but they are really going to have to put the work in with me. By the time I get home and meet my business partner, Peter, I'm wondering what on earth I've taken on. So none of them is a greengrocer? Oh, you're having a laugh. One's a postwoman, the other one works in care. <laughs> And the other one thinks that she wants to go and be in care. But if none of them are bothered about fruit and veg, yeah? Peter, they don't know their fruit and veg. <laughs> I know more about that than I do. <laughs> Honestly, God, they don't know their fruit and veg. That's shocking, isn't it? That is shocking.